वेलकम टू स्पेशल पोस्ट बजट टैक्स सूत्र हैंग आउट विद ऑल द बिग टैक्स एक्सपर्ट्स द हुज व्यू ऑफ द टैक्स वर्ल्ड एंड दे विल एनालाइज फॉर अस नॉट ओनली द फाइन प्रिंट बट द डायरेक्शन व्हिच अरुण जेटली हैज सेड वेरी क्लियरली ऑन सम ऑफ द की टैक्स इश्यूज आई थिंक द बेस्ट वे टू स्टार्ट दिस हैंग आउट इज बाय शोइंग दिस ईटी हेडलाइन इट सेज हेलो it's stuck pull it out go yeah is it hello for the next 40 minutes but before we start i request amay my colleague and partner some of the key tax changes proposals announced by arun jaitri in yesterday's budget amay over to you uh thanks arun uh, i think uh, uh, jetli had a very limited time to bring about changes and uh, uh, the retro change announcement and the transfer pricing law these are the two key changes uh, that we all have heard but uh, uh, on the direct tax and on the indirect tax side i think uh, uh, directionally there are few important changes specifically on the indirect tax side uh, the mandatory fixed pre deposit uh, before filing of any appeal uh, before the appellate authorities that's something which he has introduced uh my take is uh, that something which uh, uh which will not uh, be welcome by the business uh, especially when the finance minister announced that he proposes a non adversarial uh, uh, regime and reduce the dispute resolution uh, uh one more interesting part on the indirect tax side is the uh, 30% uh, interest rate for uh, if there is a delay in payment of service tax uh, beyond one year i think that's uh such a high rate of interest uh, uh, you know seems uh, quite uh, uh, unusual uh, and also he has expanded the uh, service tax net on few levies coming to the income tax side arun apart from the retro change announcement a uh, uh, couple of important points the csr expenditure what the fine print says is that uh, if the expenditure is covered under section 30 to 36 only then it will be allowed an expenditure which is covered under section 37 uh, and if it is a mandatory csr expenditure that is not uh, allowed as a, a deduction this potentially will unsettle some of the uh, uh, expense deductions which uh, have been claimed by the corporates and have been allowed by the corporates because naturally these will be claimed under mandatory csr uh, and another most important point is uh, there is no change announced as far as the gar timeline is concerned so the uh, 1st april 2015 financial year guard headline stays as is okay. arun over to you which is covered under section 37 uh, and if it is a mandatory csr expenditure that is not uh, allowed as a uh, deduction this oh. potentially unsettle yeah. some of the uh, expense deductions yeah mukesh bhai uh, if we can get to you first mukesh bhai uh, mukesh bhai and mohan sir your quick take on what are the big hits and misses Uh, there is no change announced as per the guard timeline is concerned so the, uh, i think uh, quick uh, take of the retro amendment is that, uh, i don't know what the finance minister uh, while diluting the rigor of the retro amendment has said that we shouldn't forget that constitutionally the parliament has a right to override the judiciary so he's not kind of given a cut by saying arun is the voice that is down is uh, am i continuing to uh, is there a echo problem with the voice no so am i is voice was echoing am i uh, what am i said is repeating again and again sir yes i don't know what sir while diluting the record i think arun uh, uh, what's happening is that am i is voice is coming back this is a yeah, i think uh, i'll just check out uh, arun are you hearing the voice better yeah yeah i think I, i'll just one second it should be short uh, is there a echo problem with the voice yeah no so i'm just voice i think i will uh, i will resend the invite and we'll restart in 2 minutes i think that's better 